Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the automated folder option with uh, Dropbox. It's a newer feature, and it lets you apply certain functions to any file that you put in that folder. So there's several types of automations you could apply to a folder, but before doing so, you have to create an automated folder. So to do that, just kind of get where you want that folder to be. So I'm going to do it in my kind of root here where all my uh, folders are. You could go and you know make it a subfolder if you want. So you go to the Create and then automated folder, give it a name, we'll, we'll call this, uh, we'll use an existing name, eating notes from a folder I had before, type it in here, there we go, and then here's your automated folders options here, so you get um, files added to this folder based on a, sorted based on a category, so if you click on it and do next, then you can pick how you want it to sort, you know, by a month or year, so each one has a different you will have some different options based on what you're choosing here. So if you want to do the renaming um, option, you could have it start the file names with the date, capitalize initials, you know, change separators to spaces, and so on. And so I'm going to do one where what it will do is any files that are added to the folder will be saved as a PDF, which is kind of cool because you could just, you don't have to worry about converting them themselves. You just kind of drag them in there and it'll do it for you. So if you click on next, so any files added to this meeting notes, will be converted to PDFs, and there's supported file types. If you want just certain ones, um, you could you know, uncheck the other ones, but you might as well just leave it all checked. And if it's not on this list, it probably can't convert it to a PDF. So you know, I'm going to be doing a Word document, so that's right there. Okay, and then just click on Create. Okay, so here's my folder. So if I go back to my main folder, you'll see how it says Automated next to it. So that tells you it's an automated folder. So once I'm in there, all I need to do is I'm going to take these two Word documents here, drag them in here to upload them. Now it says automatically saving as PDFs. And then you get a little notification here. If you have notifications turned on, the files are automatically saved as PDFs. So there goes the second one here. Since I've added four files, even though I've added two files, and I'll show you why. Let me just go back out to kind of refresh it here. So it'll keep the original Word documents, and then I have the PDF versions of each one. So it doesn't it doesn't just um, replace it or convert it and get rid of the Word document. It makes a PDF out of it while keeping the original document. So you'll have both in there. That's why I said uh, creating four files. So pretty simple. Once again, just you know, create automated folder. You know, make sure you're where you want to be before you create it. Pick the type of automation, adjust your settings, and then you'll be in business. So it's pretty simple to use, and it's kind of a cool feature. And it's you know it's available on the free account. This is a free account here that I'm working with, so you don't have to have one of the pay-for plans to use it. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.